Hey everybody, this is Nolly from GGD and I'm extremely pleased to say that today we are releasing the second in our Studio Cab series. This one is called Studio Cab's Cali Oversized Edition. So this one is a thoroughbred plugin. It's a deep dive into just one cabinet, which is probably the most famous recording 412 of our time. And it's famed for having a particularly smooth top end, very rich mid-range and tight low end. And all of this translates into the most amazing sound for distorted guitar in particular, because it just makes sure you've never got any kind of fizz or harshness in the top. And it always sounds kind of chunky for rhythms and singing for leads. Capturing the tones for this plugin was really a personal labor of love, to be honest, because I've been obsessed with the tones of these cabs for so many years now, a couple of decades really. And once I started working as a producer, I went out and got one of these cabs for myself and I was really shocked when I mic'd it up because it didn't sound anything like these iconic tones I was hearing from my favorite producers and on records, which I loved. And uh, it turns out that basically if you, if you want that sound, you have to go back to the cabs that were made in the late 90s and early 2000s because the speakers then just had a different voicing that the new ones don't. So what I did is I just amassed a collection of them. I've got well over a dozen of them and I've collected countless individual speakers on top of that. Um, they're actually surprisingly different, even though they're all the same cab and the same model of speaker, but I chose you know, the absolute best that I could possibly find. And it's just the one best speaker from each cab because Anyone that's mic'd up a 412 knows that, you know, the four speakers in a 412 can all have quite different voices. They're just very variable things. This plugin is literally the very best sounding cabinets that I've come across in this style. And uh, I should say too that our capture methodology is a really special process that we use for capturing impulses. And we're confident that it gives a very accurate, realistic feel and sound when compared to the real thing. And that's whether you're using a real amp into a load box or you're using one of the amazing digital modeling options which exist now. So you've got six flavors of awesome to choose from and each cabinet was captured with eight different microphones. You've got you know, typical 57, you've got both vintage and modern 421s because those sound really different. You've got a couple of ribbons, a couple of condensers, and you've also got the famous specific Fredman dual 57 technique available as an option within the plugin. For all except the latter, you can actually sweep the virtual microphone position between the extremes of the sweet spot of each speaker. Now these are positions that I've found through miking up these cabs, spending a huge amount of time kind of finding a usable range for each microphone on each speaker. So basically there's just no bad options within that dial, just set it to taste and you know you're gonna have a great tone. The plugin also features a global master EQ switch, and this does a subtle job. It's just filtering out the top and bottom, sweetening the top end a little bit and adding a little bit of clarity but one of the party pieces with this kind of cab when you've got a good one is it really doesn't take very much to make it sound good in the mix if at all so you might find that you don't even need to use any eq on these cabs in the mix it's just going to depend on your rig your preferences and the style of music that you play you've also got the option to import third-party impulses should you wish and when you found a blend that you like you can export your favorite ir as a wave file and the Master EQ switch will be printed into that if you've got it engaged as well. There's also a host of presets made by Misha and I, though I'd urge you to go out there and try making your own blends because there's really no bad options here and it's fun to have a new sound for each project you do. And at the end of the day, we don't all want to end up with exactly the same guitar tones, do we? As you might be able to tell, I'm extremely proud of this plugin. It's probably one of my favorites that we've done to date. And frankly, I wish I'd had it at my disposal many years ago. It would have certainly saved me a lot of heartache and this kind of chasing the perfect guitar tone for years and years. So now you guys have got that just in one plugin and I really hope you enjoy using it as much as I enjoyed finding and capturing these tones. But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to get any more info or hear some clips or even to buy your own copy, head over to getgooddrums.com.